The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers designers who are well focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds whether big, small, established or startup impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites, we give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a Leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers who are well focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress, and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds, whether big, small, established, or startup, impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites, we give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. It's now time for the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, YouTube, iTunes, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Mike brings you great guests and interesting people from all across the globe. So sit back, relax, and enjoy another great episode of the Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Widener Show. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard the Mike Widener Show dot com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook dot com slash the Mike Widener Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, and our twenty five podcast platforms. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Also follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with a wonderful gentleman who was born in New York City, now in Napa Valley, California, which makes me want some wine and grapes in the meantime. He's with a group called Fresnel's the Back Road Warriors. I almost gave away a little surprise there. And so he actually uh, was influenced by Paul Simon, Van Morrison, and um, he writes for Worthy Causes and a lot more. And um, he grew up in the late 60s, early 70s, and he also got into writing, which is not too long ago. So he's answered the calling and was able to um, work with some great musicians, a great guy to um, check out. And live, ladies and gentlemen, from the Plus Studios in beautiful Napa Valley, ladies and gentlemen, part of the Back Road Warriors, 
the very talented Fred Lesman. Fred, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Mike. Thanks for having me. Well, it's great to have you on board. So you actually were born in New York City. You're influenced by Paul Simon, Van Morrison, and a lot of the 60s and 70s music. And you were also write for Worthy Causes. And you've got um, a couple of songs called Given on Back, Children of Our Children, and a lot more as well, too. And you're part of the Back Road Warriors, and you just have a really good story to tell. And before we get into all that, tell us how you first got started. How I first got started? Correct. In, in music, or generally speaking? <laughs> uh, it, yeah, it, yeah it, it can be, um, you, you know, just, um, you know, being b- born out in New York, what you did before you got into songwriting yeah. or songwriting. So whatever you, wherever you want to go, just um, take your pick. Although it's the Mike Wagner Show, you're in the spotlight, but this is on you. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. Yes, I am born and raised in New York City. So I got, um, I was... Um, uh, Obviously, as a young man, given the opportunity to go to the Fillmore East and many uh, music venues, right from bluegrass, rock, and jazz, um, I got to see uh, Van Morrison as well as Paul Simon in my younger days and always um, had a love and appreciation for music. I went to uh, City College in New York where I was actually drove a t- New York City taxi cab to get myself to school and I uh, found myself then uh, during school breaks heading out to California and found it very attractive and proceeded to go out there and moved to actually to Venice Beach in Los Angeles uh, proceeded in, uh, in a life of business I had to put music I played guitar and harmonica from a young age and put it onto the side like so many people I know uh, collected a little dust picked it up here and there changed strings maybe once a year um, found myself uh, in a very uh, lucrative business career starting in Northern California and then to Las Vegas and retired uh, some 12 actually some 11 years ago moved to Napa Valley and I started to pick up my instruments again. And believe it or not, I had never really written any complete songs, just little snippets, partials. Um, but again, always a lover of music and melody, especially a pretty melody. So um, Tom Petty uh, being one of my fans, probably my favorite being uh, the Eagles and I'm sure the Beatles and, and, and other <clears throat> bands that made just you know, pretty songs. Mm-hmm. Nice melodies. Mm-hmm. And, um, no, sorry, go ahead, please. No, no, no. Go, go ahead. You're on a roll here, so please continue. You're on a really good roll. I'm loving this. So about six and a half, seven years ago, I play. Uh, I, I have found my way to the golf course, and a gentleman uh, was in my uh, cart as a single. He joined us. His name is Andrew Emmer, a very proficient bass player. Played with Wynton Marsalis. Uh, played uh, with some of the Grateful Dead members as he let me know I was sitting in our car. At that point, I had just began writing a few songs. Actually, probably completed a couple of them, put them on my iPad. And I said to him, would you do me a favor? This was months later. I said, I uh, would li- I have written about four songs, and I like to get them from the iPad onto a CD. Can you help me do that? And I want to give them to my children. And at that time, I didn't have grandchildren. And um, he said, sure, I'd be glad to help you. We ended up going to a studio. I'll give him a plug, which is in Katati, called Prairie Sun. A uh, famous studio here up in the valley where um, Tom Waits records. Mm-hmm. And I found myself in a studio with about four or five songs written. And Drew brought in these host of wonderful musicians and my first experience in a studio. And you know what? He, he said, you know what? Your songs are really good. I said, yeah, okay. Thank you very much. However, I just want to do this thing. Well, while we were recording, some reason, like a growth spurt, I rec- I've ended up writing another five songs. Hmm. Four, we recorded... And then we were about to do the last one, and he got called away to go on the road. 
Oh, that, my goodness. So a gentleman that I knew some 35 years ago named Brett Levick, who, let's just say, in another era, um, I was sort of like a mentor for him when he was 20 and I was 30. He has always been a professional musician. Uh, we, Thanks to Facebook, we had gone, gotten back in touch, and I discovered that he was a producer. And I said, no, that's funny. By the way, I have one more song. Would you mind listening to it? And he listened to it. He came and produced it. And we just kicked off uh, 20 songs since then. It's been about six years. Wow. 20 uh, songs in six years. That's amazing. That's enough to right? do uh, a, a double CD. That's amazing. So we became collaborators. And, um, well, the first song we did, the second song we did together was a song called No Road to Travel, which ended up on, on radio. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I was like shocked. I mean, you can only imagine. I hear I at that point, I'm just past 60 years old. I'm driving in my car and I turn it on and, and there's me. <laughs> well, I, I have to say this. You're never too old to start anything. I mean, that's what I've learned. And I'll probably tell you about that off the air. And I have to say this is like, I have to say you hit a really good time to start doing music. Your music sounds fantastic. Thank you. And, um, you know, from there on, we had about five other songs that made it onto radio. Mm -hmm. and, um, I don't know. It's just been great. I do like one or two concerts a year. Like you said, I have a couple of charities. One is, you know, Ch Children's Cancer Society out of Vegas that uh, I send most of my proceeds to. And uh, it's just been a great experience. Brad lives up in Ashland, Oregon, which I'll give them a plug. Unfortunately, our bass player and our drummer both lost, lost their homes. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Matthew Kremelman and Nick Kirby uh, lost their homes. Um, but they're okay. They're safe, and uh, they're getting through this. Um, and the other guy who just happens to play with us who's been on all my C on my two CDs and on all my songs is in Jeff Pivar, which you and I spoke about, who Jeff tours with David Crosby. Mm -hmm. um, I used to send me little videos of him when he was 16 to 18 playing with Ray Charles. Oh, wow. Um, so that was very interesting. So when I'm on stage with these guys, you can only imagine... These are all Macron and plays played with the Blue Man Group from Vegas. The um, piano player, organ player, Don Harris, was uh, used to open up a quick silver messenger service mm -hmm. in San Francisco. Uh, Jeff, um, uh, the drummer, and, and Brett Levick, my collaborator, and Mike, I'm like, wow, I, I, I just take pause to look around and go, I, you know, it's like, it's surrealistic. I mean, I, I mean, for a 60 some odd year old man to be playing in a rock and roll band and, uh, and enjoying every second of it. <laughs> it sounds like you're having fun. And if you were to pick one more famous musician to join you, who would that be and why? You know, unfortunately, unfortunately or unfortunately, can I name two? One would be Sting and the other would be Don Henley. Oh, and Don Henley. Good choice. Yeah, well, so is Sting, I mean. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I think we're about to start a debate or war here among the listeners here. So we'll probably get some love mail, hate mail over this, but keep on going. <laughs> Sting, um, they both know how to write songs from the heart. Beautiful melodies, both geniuses in their own right. And I'm sure if my list could go on and on and on and on. But the first two that come to mind... Um, are those two? Mm -hmm. I um, I like to believe that you know. Again, uh, whatever whatever it is that comes out of me, which is, I'm, I'm not a particularly rigid religious man. Probably far, far more on a spiritual side. Um, I, it's divinely inspired. I, I don't know where you know. I really don't. And I I play a chord, and that suddenly something comes from it. You know, it's uh, mm -hmm. I've watched. 
Oh, excuse me. I've watched those guys, you know, perform, and I believe they have that. They have that magic. They've always had it. And I have tremendous uh, respect and uh, admiration for both of those guys. Mm -hmm. And who are some of your other um, major influences as well, too, like with artists, musicians, singers, and guitarists? Who are some of your other influences? Well, you know, I did I did uh, play classical music when I was a child. Mm -hmm. So it's it's Scott Perlman, the uh, the most proficient violinist I've ever seen. Uh, also, make beautiful music. You know, that just hits your heart, hits your soul. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to the converse, I mean, I love. How do you not love somebody like a, you know, like Eric Clapton? I just watched uh, a video of John McLaughlin, Mahavishnu John McLaughlin playing some of the most prettiest acoustic guitar. Um, to even as you know, maybe as to like the Backstreet Boys. I mm. love their I love their songs. I love their harmonies. Um, I, I'm you know I like to believe myself as being somewhat musically diverse, mm -hmm. but I think consistent or constant is always it's got to be sort of a melody. I mean, even uh, even uh, I'm trying to remember the name now. The name evades me. I don't know why. But the famous saxophone player, the jazz saxophone player. Um, God, why is that blanking? But he put, he did a version of my favorite things. Not a beautiful song. Hmm. Yeah, I wasn't necessarily a huge fan of avant-garde jazz. I, I mean, I, I got to watch Miles Davis play as a, you know, as a kid. Um, George Benson, another phenomenal musician. I have been very musically blessed with the talent that I have witnessed. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, and yes, um, the Who. I never did see the Beatles, but I've seen the Rolling Stones a few times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And these people all have um, overwhelmed me. It, 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 so it, it sounds like you got a really great influence as well, too. And we'll talk about your songs like Give It On Back, Say So, and also Children Are Children and More. But first, listen to the Mike Wagner Show at themikewagnershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960 or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be here on the themikewagnershow.com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, over 25 podcast platforms. Take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel. Also, follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with the very talented Fred Lesman, living in Napa Valley, California, here on the Mike Wagner Show, born in New York City and influenced by a number of great artists, as we have mentioned. And he's also got a couple CDs out called 3 a.m. and Give It On Back. We'll talk about some of those along with a few cuts we're featuring. But first of all, you talked about you were in business for about 40 years before retiring. What did, what did you do? I was uh, in the land development and home building business. Oh, okay. Nothing too, nothing too thrilling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very laborious, believe me. Uh huh. And, and of course, you mainly just uh, built homes for people and and whatever else. Yeah. And you, you know, that's one of the things I'm thinking about. Sometimes I wish I had that skill, but <laughs> I, I I just couldn't hit straight, cut straight, or whatever it is. You gave it a try, but you know, you know, I gotta say this. Um, you know, you know, people like that, you know, build houses. I actually admire them. And you know, right now I'm sure there'll probably be like, you know, more of a demand than ever trying to say accommodate to what's going on and maybe even community housing and such. And um, also, what was that one precise moment that influenced you to get into music again? So what was that one precise moment for you while you're in business? Um, actually, I had retired. And unfor unfortunately, well, here's the good part. My wife and I are together. We've been together now 20 years. Mm -hmm. We had a, had a little pause I had a little time out for some uh, not great behavior, and that uh, had me living uh, separately for 
a period of time and I picked up the guitar and I started to put some chords together mm -hmm. and came the beginning of the 20 some odd songs later. <laughs> <laughs> but then it always though it's always something about the heart you know mm -hmm. or some kind of tragedy or something that happens and uh, that's that's what happened. It, it sounds like a lot of the songs pretty much came from the heart. Let's talk about a couple of your CDs. You got your first one called 3 a.m. And your second one is Given On Back. Let's talk about your first one, 3 a.m. And um, tell us uh, more about that um, CD and how'd you come up with that name and uh, some of the songs you featured. Well, one song, that obviously the title song is 3 a.m. And again, it has to do with, um, you know, about 3 a.m. where the uh, decision to um, part company, so to speak, came, that conversation. So that's where the uh, the 3 a.m. Uh, obviously, also in a previous life, you know, in my younger teens and 20, that would have been more of the party hour, you know, but mm -hmm. that's not how that's not what the song was about. Uh -huh. The... Uh, the first couple of songs on there was No Road to Travel, which we talked about, and uh, and Superman, Ish, which we, my Brett put the Ish on it, because um, that again had to do with my wife when she found something out that she wasn't happy about, let me know that I no longer was her Superman, and um, that became then the impetus of that song. Mm -hmm. um, there's, there's a few other songs in there called Blue Night, also referencing that same period of time. And um, so that's pretty much that CD was more or less dedicated to that time. I had a very dear friend of mine who passed away, Al Flangus, of cancer during that time. And in, I was visiting with him while he was dying, and his wife at the time Trudy was caring for him he, they did hospice in their home and uh, she kept looking at him and and uh, I wrote a song called you, you can't be dead because I'm standing and that was about that moment um, I don't remember you know too many it was only you know tense not only I mean there were ten songs but those were the ones that uh, including Superman No Road um were on uh, on put on the radio mm -hmm. and um that was it that took years those were probably two 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 to three years of my of my of my music was on that on that cd wow that is amazing when i hear a 3 a.m makes me think of that um simon and garfunk i think their debut at 3 a.m it kind of like think think right. somewhere along the lines and that thought you know what paul simon it just kind of just kind of comes together it seems like to me yeah, thank you yes i agree <laughs> and, and, and they turn out to um, be influential, move on to bigger and better things. And speaking of bigger and better things, you also have the uh, second the follow up CD called "Give It On Back." You have the title track and more. And um, tell us all about that CD, along with the title track and um, a couple others from that CD. Sure. Um, no, that one, that one had a little mixture. That one I got a little more political, for the sake of another word. Mm -hmm. uh, Give it on back was predominantly about uh, the 2008 and nine financial meltdown and then how I, I, my perception of how Wall Street basically raped us mm -hmm. and, um, and how, uh, it, how nice it would be if they had just to give it on back. Right. Uh, how much better maybe they might feel mm -hmm. and how certainly we feel if they would ever to do that. And maybe it's just time for them to do that. Right. Um, yes. And then another song we wrote on there, um, or is this time to fight or mm -hmm. is it time to run away? Also with some political overtones, um, given the state of what I, how I see it and perceive it politically right now, uh, we seem hor horribly divided. And I hope that at some point cooler heads will prevail and um, 
we can find our ways back to uh, um, some togetherness. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I was harmony because it's. I was just thinking about that song, Give It On Back. You talk about um, you know Wall Street going under in 2008 and 2009. And I'm trying to think you were in the real estate and, and housing business. What was, the, what was the year that you retired? I'm just trying to think. What was the year that you retired? You're very clever. That the word, I, have the, I choose the word to use the word involuntarily retired. Okay. Because there was no longer any business. Okay. I was building in Las Vegas, and uh, we became a ghost town. Okay. So needless to say, I have a little resentment towards towards whatever caused that. Mm-hmm. However, however, on the flip side, I told you I do have a bit of a spiritual sense to me. I would never have fallen here. I would never have come here. Probably never would have written a song unless that had happened to me personally. Okay. Uh, <coughs> Okay, I was just trying to clarify because I'm trying to remember when you get out of the real estate business and when you wrote uh, "Give It Back." So I was trying to, um, you know, come up with the um, a correlation to it. But that's very interesting and in how you did that too. And if if you write an album today or a song like in today's times, you know, getting around the election or whatever, it's like, what song would you write uh, at the moment? I think I just did, I, and I give it to. It's called "Children of My Children." Oh, yes, that's right. And I'm glad you mentioned that. And you know what? We're going to play that for you in just a minute. But first, listen to the Mike Wagner Show at the themikewagnershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Looking for for a professional website without breaking your budget, Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on the themikewidenershow.com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash themikewidenershow. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, iTunes, Google Play, and for 25 podcast platforms. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Also follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here a singer, songwriter, multi-talented Fred Lesman, part of Fred Lesman, the Back Road Warriors here on the Mike Wagner Show. Right now, here's one of the songs that's making around throughout the um, Spotify, YouTube, and all the musical outlets. Here's Children of Our Children from Fred Lesman and the Back Road Warriors right here on the Mike Wagner Show.
song children of our children fred roisman and the back road warriors on the mike wagner show fantastic tune tell us more about that song and what inspired you to write it i mean it was just so riveting thank you uh as we discussed uh, um when i first started writing i, I didn't have gen- grandchildren and uh, now i do i have um i have four wow amazing yeah. Yeah, from ages uh, not not even one yet to five, mm-hmm. and given the current state of we we'll call it politics between climate change, um, what I see is corporate greed, mm-hmm. and um, I fear, I fear for the children of my children. Mm-hmm. So it, I started with a with the chorus, which I usually don't. It's chorus first, which is the children of our children, who should be frightened for. And then Brett and I got together, and, um, and this is what came from it. Wow, that is very very moving. And where can we find um, your music, including Children of Our Children, Give It Back, Three A.M., Supermanish, and more? Where can we find your music at? I believe it's on, I, on iTunes, Spotify, and probably some others that I'm not overly familiar with. Oh, but Reverb Nation. Oh, yeah, it's Reverb whole- Nation. I totally forgot all about that. It's like we're so focused on Spotify, YouTube, iTunes, Reverb Nation. It's like we totally forgot about that. I have to remind my people. And um, and lastly, about uh, Children for Our Children, I forgot to uh, ask you this. How, how can we help with the situation? Uh, well, I, I would hope that um, we at least take a look at um, the the global warming. I mean, we see the fires, at least on our coast. We see the air quality dissipating. And um, so as one who probably many, many, many years ago didn't believe in it, I am a firm believer today. Mm-hmm. I'm also a firm believer that there is a huge disparity between the have and the have nots. Mm-hmm. And I'm um, I'm not here to profess that I have any answers. Uh, I don't. I just don't. I just do believe that if we don't make some change, we'll continue to fall into this hole and possibly, possibly never get out of it. You know, for me, I'm 66. You know, I got a lot more yesterdays than tomorrows. Mm-hmm. But those five grandchildren that are, I did that are part of a video actually that I did. You know, I apologize. I don't know why I said five. It's four grandchildren. It, the, um, it's, it's okay. I, th- I think you're. I think you're planning ahead for the good. I could tell. <laughs> I also, yeah, but there's Henry, there's Margaret, there's Arthur, and Phoebe. Those are my four grandchildren. Oh, they're amazingly and, uh, beautiful. For those who haven't seen the video, check out "Children of Our Children" and check out his grandchildren. They're amazing. Please, please do. And uh, hopefully the message will resonate and um, we'll get some things done. 
<laughs> All right, we will do that. Once again, Fred Lesman with Fred Lesman and the Back Road Warriors here on the Mike Wagner Show. A very big thank you for your time. You've been fantastic. Looking forward to having you again soon. And just a few more things before we go, Fred. We'd love to have you back. Uh, what can we expect from you guys in 2021 and beyond? Well, I certainly hope from the perspective of the Back Roads Warriors that we're able to actually uh, perform live again. We have um, two songs currently uh, in the can, as they call it. Mm-hmm. Got three or four that we're working on, but it's hard from remote locations. Mm-hmm. My muse and I, which is my wife, um, who named the band, uh, we are going to be taking new location uh, to Bodega Bay, California, on the coast. We'll have some coastal living. We're going to go take a look at the ocean daily. So that's going to be a nice change to look forward to. And, um, you know, I hope again that next year brings one that's a little less upside down than this one has been. Mm-hmm. Hopefully an end to our uh, pandemic and that we can now uh, restore some normalcy. Mm-hmm. And, and we're certainly looking forward to normalcy as well, too. And who do you consider your biggest influence in your career? My wife, Cheryl. <laughs> uh, I, I think that's the right answer, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that's well said, too. And what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point? Okay, Fred, are you still with us? Okay. Uh, is, to, uh, is to truly follow your heart. Because some, sometimes the eyes can be deceived. Mm-hmm. Right. And that is very true. Once again, Fred Lesman, uh, Fred Lesman and the Back Road Warriors are on the Mike Wagner Show. Fred, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely fantastic. Learned a lot from you. Looking forward to hearing from you soon. Do us a favor. Keep us up to date. Love you back on in 2021 and beyond. And before we go, once again, tell us about your upcoming projects. What's your website? How do people contact you? Where can people purchase or listen to your music? Again, um, you know, I have a, a Facebook page which is Fred Lesman Music. Um, I'm pushing my buddy Brett Levick as well, my collaborator. Uh, he has websites. He's, uh, like I say, his songs have been on Sons of Anarchy, et cetera, et cetera. I'd love to give him a little plug. Myself, um, again, uh, Spotify, uh, Reverb Nation, and um, just keep on uh, listening. I hope you hope everybody does. Definitely. Well, once again, Fred, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely fantastic. Looking forward to having you again soon. Just a favor. Keep us up to date. We'd love to have you back for sure. Thank you, Mike. Have a wonderful day. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers designers who are well focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds whether big, small, established or startup impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites, we give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Thanks for listening to The Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, YouTube, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Please support our program with your donations at themikewagnershow.com. 
Join us again next time for another great episode of The Mike Wagner Show. 